Right, I'm going to uh, begin, uh, guys, by asking, I mean, this Paddington has been translated into sort of 30 languages and sold over 30 million copies. What do you think it is about this bear that's just so special that we just respond to so, so well around the world? I think what's great about Paddington is he's a little outsider trying to find his way in the great big wide world. And it's a very relatable thing. I think everyone's felt like a fish out of water, like the first day they go to school or play group or first day in a new job. You know, you don't need to have traveled around the world to feel like an outsider. And I think we're all doing that every day, trying to navigate the world. And Paddington does that. He's a, he's a lovely image of what we all feel like sometimes, this sort of slightly little lost mm. soul in a big world, trying to sort of fit in and probably not doing quite as good a job of it as we'd all like. There's a little bit of Paddington in, in all of us. Uh, yeah, virtually all. <laughs> Nearly all. Because <laughs> uh, I guess in some I mean, the picture, I mean, particularly the, the first film, but this, this one too, is, is, is about acceptance and prejudice, and they're quite pertinent themes as well. Do you think, and that is, it's quite important, do you think, at the moment, this film is, is coming out now, particularly, obviously, we've had the whole sort of um, the refugee crisis over the past sort of two or three years. I mean, and this is about accepting someone, regardless of where they come from or who they are. I mean, is that, is that even though it's quite a sort of undercurrent in this, is that still quite an important element to these movies, that, that, that whole kind of sort of slight political aspect of it? I think what's in, I, 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 I don't think we ever really thought of Paddington as a sort of a party political animal, but he's, uh, I think he is a, he's a little stranger needing kindness. And I think that is a sort of a universal and probably timeless theme that, uh, that it's, it's nice that it feels like it has some resonance now. And at the same time, it's rather sad that it feels like it has some resonance now because what Paddington brings is, is uh, generosity of spirit and uh, he looks for the good in people and a real positivity and uh, love. And um, certainly that spirit is, is, is as needed now as it ever has been. Yeah, I think, I think there's a lot in the film about judging sort of books by covers, if you like. You know, let's not look at the surface of people and sort of look, look, look beyond that. I think that, that uh, hopefully that sort of comes across as a, mm. a message for people. And also the fact that cause he's so obviously he sort of grew up sort of in love with with London as a city, and we sort of adopt his perspective as well. So do you think that through his eyes we're almost celebrating London too? But I mean, as a Londoner, I mean, I, you sort of forget what a beautiful city you live in until you sort of see it through the eyes of someone else. Sometimes it's true. I mean, I'm from uh, Darlington, you know, so I and I, <laughs> I've sort of fallen fallen in love with London. Sort of you fall in love with London through Pennington in a way. I mean, we didn't actually. Mean set out to make a film which is such a sort of love letter to London, but you do fall in love with it through Pennington and through Aunt Lucy, you know, mm. who's sort of the originator of the 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 love of London. Mm. Yeah. So when we came across this idea of that, you know, even the pop up book with sort of um, that has all these sort of uh, um, landmarks in London, it was really um, yeah. It's it. It does. It yeah, and I think because we're both people who not from London who yeah, made our home in London, you sort of feel there's a, it, that's, I think what lots of the world's big cities have is a sort of, you know, mix of people from all sorts of places where they're not necessarily born here, but they can call it home. And that feels like maybe we brought mm. some of that spirit to through Paddington to the film. What, when did the idea of a sequel uh, come about? And was it, was it something that you were instantly just, right, I have to do that? with apprehensions? Because when the first, when something is as great as the first movie, I guess there is always that, do I want to potentially get involved with something that might not match up to it? Was there ever any doubts going into this? I, I think the idea for the sequel came with, uh, came sort of before the first film, really. I mean, there's, there, uh, there's a long series of books, and, and the hope was always that there would be... Uh, you know, sev several Paddington mm. stories. It wasn't like, well, this is a, a standalone plot. What do we do next? Uh, so, so that was always the hope. Personally, there was a sort of a bit of trepidation, uh, but equally, uh, it felt like there was there were things to do with the character, and and we sort of very quickly knew roughly what we wanted to do with him. You know, not even in terms of plot, but in terms of the broad strokes of let's see Paddington in the world at large and let's see how the wider community takes him and let's see, you know, so so the sort of idea of a kind of Frank Capra-esque film of a little character in a great big world felt like a strong enough concept that you felt a, a year or so's writing would be rewarded at the end of it. 
And so could we, I mean, have, have you, is there any talks yet about a third? Is that something that might happen? I, I believe it's been announced by Studio oh, Canal. Good. So hopefully they, my research they've got then. a... <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure what... Um, we don't there isn't know. a story as such, is there, no. as far as I know? Or yeah. Did you just read that press release at the same time uh, everyone else did? I, I, <laughs> I discovered it, I think, on Hey You Guys. I went, <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> so, yeah, it's... Um, uh, it was... Um, so yeah. uh, I think the hope is that there will be, yeah. uh, you know, 33 sequels of, you know, slowly diminishing quality. Fantastic. Look forward to all of them. Thank you so much, guys. Much appreciate Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!